Welcome, my fellow seven subscribers, to the magic of the new game review, Ed and Eddie the Misadventures. Yes, another game review. You guys probably wait for that. So let's begin with the fact that this game is decent, actually. It's not like it's bad, but it, it's just so many good things about it that kind of overwhelms the badness. Chad, you do, Ed. Yeah. So anyway, let's begin with the review. After you begin the new game, you go to a cutscene pretty much just being Ed and Eddie style, and you have to wait for a loading screen, which is like that, where the color fills in the screen, and then you begin with your first level of the game, where you trying to freaking get stupid ice to make snow cones, I guess. The 3D models of this game are, yeah, they're, they're, they're something. They're really something, aren't they? So yeah, you're gonna... Oh, oh, shit. So yeah, anyway. So you play as you can switch characters by hitting L and R. Like now he's double D and then now he's Ed. Each character has special abilities, so like throwing the stink bomb. And that that's one. So yeah, th this game is not that bad. You can also learn these secret Easter eggs by hitting chickens. That get you stuff. Get that chicken! Poor oh, man, you can't lose it. Oh, what? I'm gonna retry it. So pretty much, you win an Easter egg, whatever. Why you? Why do I suck at this so much? I really need to get my skills up. Yeah, that you throw the chicken with Ed. You can get the secret spooky costume or whatever. Something, something. New. I think you just got big heads or whatever. So pretty much, you gotta do stuff for plot and whatever. I, I think that's it for this mission. I mean, all you do is just collect five ice cubes to make snow cones. Oh yeah, I also gotta show up the job wakers. So I'll, I'll go to when he gets that. You can also earn costumes by digging inside sandbox. You don't, you have to earn free costume pieces to win a bonus mission. Spooky! And it did decent. And you can also find these secret spooky job wakers from the show. I think spooky a lot. That you can unlock cheat codes if you get them all. You even have descriptions. Yeah, they do. It's a bunch of different types. There's even ones that you have to buy inside the main menu, which we'll show after this mission. I'll see you next mission. Or, I, or I'll, sh I'll see you in the main menu, I guess. So after you beat every mission, you go to the main menu, which is the cul-de-sac from the show, where you can beat up people, I guess. And, and you can also access all the missions and all the bonus missions that you may have get. But if you go to the playground, which I'm going to go to now, this game also you can collect pennies to pay for stuff, like the gumball, wait, oh yeah, like the sandbox. You can earn money to pay for stuff, and if you're double D, you can also have abilities to do stuff like this, where you can, on this gumball machine, you can purchase job breakers in the game, you know, so if you, earn, if you pay for them all and you earn them all, you can unlock cheat codes, which are just kind of like enemies can't detect you, and they're not really that good. There's only like three and a nine, I Okay, uh, do, do you think we covered all? Okay, so let's go on to next mission. Oh my god. Also, the Easter eggs can also run you these phone booth things that uh, right there. Which, those, it's after you win the first three, you'll start earning movie booths, which will give you cut, which will give you cool stuff that will show off later. On to the next mission, which is not this house. I'm just showing it off. On to the next mission. Second opening cutscene. Yeah, the animation's kind of dumb, but it's kind of like the show, I guess. Not at all, but they tried. They tried. I'm not sure or not you just heard that, but pretty much they gotta go into the sewers to sneak into a party, which is one, a dumb as crap idea, two, is probably, I think, maybe illegal, I'm not sure. But yeah, it's, you're just in the sewers and there's crocodiles as enemies. But yeah, see, see you're, in the, you're in the stinky sewers. I'm gonna show off the job breaker location for all you people that wanna do that.
Wondering, Far Breaker location, crappy quality phone, Far Breaker location locator. So, you can do special moods with the, I think that's the L button. Yeah, that's the L button. You can do these special moods that you have to, that you're required to do right here. So, if you like, example, if you're using her, I mean him, sorry. If you're using Double D, <laughs> old fans of the show just got really angry. <laughs> if you're using Double D, you can, okay, stop kidding. Kill that stupid crocodile already. There we go. Okay, you can use it to rise up stuff, I guess. If you can, yeah, magic. And you can also use the ability to spin that. Which I guess has gears everywhere. Yeah, time to go to the next job making location. For you people that are wondering what the gameplay is like, it's not that bad. It's actually really good gameplay, and I guess Trey's getting hurt. So you can get these clams enemies that begin inside this mission. That are absolutely suck. So yeah. I, I guess it turned from a review to a freaking job worker collect location video. But I guarantee you that it will be in fact a reveal. You know what? Let's just go on the next mission. And... I almost forgot at the end of the mission you have to fight the cankers. And Double D also has a slingshot that you can use whenever. That, um, yeah. You gotta do a couple cutscenes when it just run away. Like, <laughs> and then it'll be done. So, you gotta, you gotta shoot things onto their head in case you're stuck on this freaking mission. Cause, cause it's pretty freaking annoying. Gotta drop stuff on their head. And like, bam. Yeah, it, it's pretty freaking easy. But the first time you play this mission, it's always super hard because you don't know what the heck to do. So this is going to be the final mission I'll show off, but this mission is pretty much, it's also a stuff right, in case you don't know. This mission is just, you gotta get a freaking job worker that, because they're holding, giving him off for free or something at the candy store. It's also a two-footer. So, yeah, pretty much, um, yeah. Pretty much, any tries one, we don't want to the mission, blah, blah, he gets sick, some, something like that. So you gotta go back and in the house. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much... It for this mission. I'm gonna try to end off this review quickly due to the fact that it's been going on for meh. I just feel like it shouldn't be going on anymore. So this will be the end of this review. See you next review where I review. I don't know. Actually, I'm not sure what I'm gonna review next. Maybe be another crappy game. Except this one's actually decent, so that doesn't freaking count. See ya! Gonna go edit this vid!